What's up, legends? I got another blah, Dragon Ball Super review for you guys. Episode 48. I was gonna say Naruto review, so I'm so used to it, but it's gonna be legendary, baby. Anyway, what an episode. Episode 48 was delicious. Straight delicious. Delectable. So we start off where we left off last week with Trunks versus Goku Black, or just Black, as, Go as Trunks is calling him now. And Black beats that ass. Black beats that ass. Trunks Trunks gets a quick punch on him because he gets pissed. He goes Super Saiyan, gets pissed, punches Black. And let me just say, it's good to see the future Trunks in Super Saiyan form. A lot, a lot of people were like, why didn't he go Super Saiyan last week? But you know they draw out the transformation. It's a Saiyan thing, baby. <laughs> they draw out the need to transform as much as possible. They don't transform in the beginning because, remember, it consumes a lot of energy. That's what Goku even said during his battle with uh, Hit. But yeah, we see Goku Black beat that Super Saiyan ass, and it's just a one-sided fight until Trunks gets a hold of his sword, throws it at Goku Black while he's about to kill Trunks, distracts him, Masenko Ha, which reminds us all that this Trunks was trained by Gohan of that timeline, and the Masenko gives him enough time to escape the time machine. But Goku Black, of course, he can sense his Trunks' power now. He sees the time machine is about to blast it away. But yeet! Teleportation. Go away. And then Goku Black is just so... He's just so angry. He's just like, where, where the fuck did he go? And he looks like he's about to take a mean shit. He's just like, where the fuck did he go? Trunks, I must shit on you some more. But Trunks is uh in the time dimension. He just passes right out. And then we go to the main timeline. We go to Capsule Corporation. Where we meet up with uh, our timelines, Trunks, Mai, Shu, and Pilaf. And I can feel, I feel like this timeline, Trunks, is just going to be so fucked after this arc. Either that or like he's going to be, he's going to be a major focus of this arc as well. It's going to be, it will be really cool to see the two interact more. Like become friends. Even though they're the same person but different well they're different people but the same people like they're the same person but their different upbringings make them have different personalities which is cool as fuck but we see we see the little development between uh my and kid trunks and i guess it's a hop homage to uh the fact that future trunks was with my and the fact that battle of gods basically made my trunks boo thing as creepy as it sounds because she's like 60 she should be like 60 or 40 something in this timeline I mean I guess she's a kid again so it's alright whatever but yeah we basically see because my winks at him trunks blushes they hold hands uh, Shu and Pilaf make a big deal of them holding hands but yeah they were actually getting their education they were getting their education on beforehand like there, there was a teacher just teaching a random ass teacher just a random character who by the end of this episode had to be fucked in the head as well. But I'm just saying. So Trunks senses some energy while he's eating lunch. While they're on their lunch break. And boom. The time machine comes out of nowhere. Trunks flies to it. He sees it. He's like, if this is an alien, I'll just beat it. And then they, they realize it says Capsule Corp. Well, the teacher realizes it says Capsule Corp on it. And she's like, uh, do we have these? Do they have these at Capsule Corp? Or whatever. And so they get Boma. Boma sees the time machine. She she reads Hope in English, even though she's Japanese. I like I like when Japanese people do that. They read English words. I like that. I can't wait till this gets dubbed. By the way, oh my goodness! All the first off, Goku Black by Sean Schimmel. Hopefully, Sean Schimmel does Goku Black as well. Well, I, he's definitely since uh I can't I can't remember her name, but since the voice actress for Goku does Goku Black in this, and she's fucking epic as Goku Black in this. Uh, but since she does Goku Black's voice in this, I'm assuming Sean Schimmel's gonna go do Goku Black's voice as well. And I can't wait to see the stupid Goku Sean Schimmel. Because, <laughs> you know, Dragon Ball Z Goku wasn't that dumb. But Dragon Ball Super Goku, he's naive. He's very naive and shit. But yeah, I can't wait to see all the... can't wait to hear Future Trunks say, You bastard! You bastard! All the time. And it's just beautiful. But let's get back to the story. So... We see Bulma, she takes Future Trunks with Trunks, Mai, Shu, 
and peel off the peel off gang and the teacher as well and they're just making up so many theories a game theory but they're making up so many theories of what this is because they see it looks like trunks a lot so they're like it's an illegitimate child how would it be an illegitimate child trunk now how would it be an illegitimate child I don't understand <laughs> like if I don't understand. I don't whatever I guess they thought he didn't they just didn't claim the child even though Bulma's so protective over the child and oh one other fact Bulma's like, is it a is it a boy with blue hair in the time machine when she when she asks his trunks, our asks our timelines trunks, if that's a boy with blue hair, I'm like Bulma, trunks didn't have blue hair last time y'all you guys got together unless they want to retcon that I mean, I don't know it's kind of weird that our timeline trunks still has purple hair and future trunks has blue hair I guess it's an age thing with the Breeze family now. Maybe that's it, but I mean, I'm not losing sleep over his blue hair. I kind of like it, but it kind of it makes his eyebrows and his eyes just clash. It, it's just they they match so much that it looks kind of weird to me. But I, it's still cool. I like his blue hair as well. I like his haircut, even though he doesn't really have a haircut. But you, you get what I mean. And he didn't let his hair grow anymore. I remember. I remember he had long hair last time we saw. Well, nah. When he went back to defeat Cell in his timeline, he cut it again. But Oh, I digress. But we see Trunks is just freaking out the whole time. When when they when Bulma calls Future Trunks Trunks, Trunks goes crazy. He's like, "Holy shit! What is this? What is this shit?" And then they contact Vegeta and Goku on uh on Beerus's planet, and Whis is just like. No, no, they're there, they're there, and on Beerus' planet, and Whis is all talking about food, and Bulma's like, no, this is more important than food, put Vegeta on, blah, 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 Beerus is like, uh, we don't have time for personal conversations, Bulma's face comes out the rod, <laughs> and, uh, she's like, no, this is important, she yells at them, blah, 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 but, basically, they make Trunks, Kid Trunks power up, and it's so nice to see Kid Trunks go Super Saiyan, just powering up, and that be enough, it's actually kind of surprising that he has enough power to allow Goku to be able to sense it. Because I remember Gohan had to push himself extremely hard for Goku to sense it when Frieza was back. So I guess Kid Trunks is now stronger than Gohan. Well, it makes sense since Gohan doesn't fight like that. But Trunks probably, he just spars with Goten all whenever he gets the chance. But yeah, I really like how they're putting in the Pilaf gang in this, in this arc as well as Kid Trunks and Trunks interactions. But when Goku gets to Trunks, they're like, Vegeta's like, where is that guy? And they're just like in there. Bulma's like in there. And Goku goes quickly to Korin's tower to get a Sensu Bean. And for some reason, they're, play they're playing Limbo. Is that the correct terminology? Is that the correct ter terminology? Playing Limbo or just Limbo? Limboing? Limbo. Urs? How do you. What is it? Um, but anyway, they're Limboing. And Goku's all like, is this even fun? <laughs> and they're like, not at all. <laughs> and he's like, oh, see ya. <laughs> and that was just a funny little moment. But yeah, when Trunks finally gets to Sensu Bean and wakes up, he becomes all Terminator-like. Red eyes and all. Red eyes, black dragon and all. And he has flashbacks of Goku Black when he sees Goku. So immediately, I kind of predicted this, but immediately... He goes and he swings on Goku. Goku grabs his fist like, Bitch, what are you doing? I'm Goku. I'm powerful. Don't touch me. Stop it, Trunks. I'm guessing... It would have been kind of a good... A funny little throwback. If Goku would have allowed the punch to hit him because he thought... He he would be like, I, I felt... I uh, searched your feelings. <laughs> I didn't think you would fuck me up. <laughs> remember... Because remember when Trunks initially appeared in the uh, Android Saga? Where he was like, where Trunks was about to slash Goku with his sword. And uh, he was like, I searched your feelings. You weren't going to attack me. And then Trunks was like, okay, but this time I'm not going to stop Goku. And then Goku used the two fingers of Doom, Himawari style. But uh, this is Dragon Ball Z. So, uh, well, actually, Himawari was one thing, but whatever. Uh, Goku just used two fingers and blocked the sword attacks. I thought it would be hilarious if Goku let him punch him because he was like, I, 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 I thought your feelings, I, 
drugs. <laughs> I tried to search your feelings. I didn't realize, but I mean, if he did search his feelings, then he would know he was swinging on him for real. But it would just been, it'd been funny. But at the same time, I like to end off on a serious note because it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool seeing how Trunks react. I knew he would react some type of way towards Goku. I didn't exactly know he would swing on him or he would try to punch him. But what I did know is I knew, I felt like he would either have like issues with looking at Goku now. Like, he'll just see Black, and he'll see all the deaths that Black caused, caused. But I didn't know he would try to punch Goku. So in the next episode, we see them as Super Saiyans in the air. And Trunks still looks a little angry. So I'm assuming Goku just drags out a fight with him. Either that, or like they train a little bit before they go. But by the end of the episode, they go to the Trunks' time. No, apparently Black comes to their timeline, or like sends a message through their timeline. So I'm assuming most of the episode, maybe most of the episode is going to be Goku and Trunks fighting. But then Black comes through and go Trunks, I mean, go, Goku might tell Trunks like midway through the episode or something. I don't know. But anyway, tell me what you guys think of this episode. Please like, favorite, comment, subscribe if you're nasty. Peace, Legends. Episode gets a 10 out of 10. Finish.